Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now on this one, we're going to be going over the best water type builds on the game for raids. Now we did this back in the day and it was Azumarill for the physical build. Let me just run over that real quick. So just Shell Bell, Water Terror type, Liquidation, Play Rough, Belly Drum and Charm. Huge power, all the right EVs and IVs. Now the special attacker was Vaporeon. The metronome, Surf, Fake Tears, Calm Mind, Ice Beam. Correct EVs, correct IVs, Water Absorb, the lot. They were both a very strong Pokemon and still are to this day. But there's just Pokemon that are better than them. Now that Pokemon Home is here, the age of Zoomeril is no more. So let me show you just the Pokemon that are replacing them. So up first for the best physical water type attacker, we do have Urshifu. Now this was actually close between Hisuian Samurott and Urshifu because Hisuian Samurott's Razor Shell combined with its sharpness is a very strong combination. But Urshifu is better in every single stat except for special attack. And it just seems to be more reliable in those raids. Not by much, but not by much so. So if you want to settle with a Hisuian and Samurai if you don't have Urshifu then that's fine. Now for the Urshifu if you bring a Kubfu over it'll have a fighting type terror so you will need to change it to a water type terror which you can do in Medali East in the Treasure Eatery for 50 water terror shards because we're just going to get more damage out because when we go water terrestrialize we get the extra stab. Held item is going to be Shell Bell. This gives us back 12.5% of our damage we deal as health to keep us alive throughout that raid. If you want to know where to get this you can come to Lavincia North, fly over to Delia Bird Presents and buy it there for 20,000. Now, if you do need any EV items, they will be in the Transy Supply Shop. And the same with Nature Mints. We're going to be running an Adamant Nature on our Urshifu. Now, moving on to the EVs, we've gone into HP and Attack. We've got max IVs on everything except our Special Attack. Although that's what you would need. I did do the special attack anyway because I like having max IVs on everything. The ability is going to be Unseen Fist. Now, even though raids don't really use Protect and stuff like that, it's kind of a cool ability. As you can see, we have very high attack, just shot of 400. And our defense is really good as well. The only kind of scenario we will struggle a little bit in is going to be our special defense. But then our special attacker has very high special defense, so it kind of makes up for it. Now, the moveset we're going to be using is going to be a Surging Strike, Soft Stance, Iron Defense, and Drain Punch. As you can probably tell, this is a very defensive build. We have high defense. We have Iron Defense, which increases our defense by two stages. We have Drain Punch in case we are getting low on health and we really need some health back and the shell bell is just not cutting it we get 50 percent of our health back when we use drain punch Souls dance is going to power us up raise our attack by two stages and surging strikes is going to be our main move here it only has five pp so you're going to want to use pp up on this three times so you can get eight strikes out of it well i say eight strikes but it's really going to be 24 strikes because this attack attacks three times in a row bringing it up to 75 power 100 accuracy move, a very good move, but it's also always a critical hit. So the power is actually just going to be way over 100. But it's a very strong move. It's going to be better than Liquidation. And it's the signature move. Who doesn't love a signature move? Now, I'm going to go over two raids, six star raids with Urshifu to show you how good it is. And then you get an idea of how to use it. And let me tell you, if you do have access to one, you're going to want to use it. So we're just going to do the first two six star raids we run into. That way, super effective against. First one being a six star fire type Mabo Stiff, I think this is called. Let's begin. Well, first up, we're going to use Iron Defense. If they are a physical attacker, that means we will take no damage whatsoever from them. Pretty much our raid until they nullify our stats. Let's see how much damage this does. It does like 43 damage, as you can see, with nothing. Then we're going to use Sword Stance one time. This will put our attack on plus two. So if they are a physical attacker, we will be on plus two defense, plus two attack. A very good start to the raid. And then we'll start using Surging Strikes. Now, if you feel like you can't take them out in a moves because they are pretty strong i wondered what was going on then i forgot it hit three times so yeah if you feel like you can't take them out in the eight moves you can use a drain punch three times this will keep you, you alive after you use your swords dance and then you can use your eight moves while you're terrestrialized and make more use out of those attacks but unless they have pressure i think you should be fine with surging strikes unless they're insanely high physical defense like avalog but then why would you be fighting an avalog with a physical attacker anyway right so this uh mabo stiff actually has a quite high defense it's 90 base defense 
But as you can see, we are doing some decent damage. We just need one more attack to take it to half health. It has just stole some of our terror charge. So that's not very nice. So we're going to need to use a four surging strikes before we get our terrestrial eyes. Now, usually I would use Sars Dance twice and it would do a lot of damage. And while I've been using it twice, I've not needed to actually use Drain Punch because I ran out of surging strikes. But I'm just testing whether one will work. Because it shields up, Surging Strikes is not going to do any damage here though. So I'm just going to use Drain Punch until we get our terror. We'll only need to use it once. You need to keep a close eye out on your actual Surging Strikes if you only use Soul Stance once. Just because you have eight moves to actually finish the raid, right? So we're going to terrestrialize here into our Water Terraform. Nice little Water Flower on the head. Looks beautiful. Now we're going to use Surging Strikes. We are on plus two attack. Let's see how much damage this does. So there's the first strike. There's the second strike. And there's the third strike. It did somewhere around half. Maybe just less than half. And then we get all our health back because of the Shell Bell. Now Surging Strikes does take a bit more time to use with the animation. Because it's attacking three separate times instead of just one attack. He has nullified our stat changes. So we're going to use a Sword Stance to get our attack back to plus two. And then we're going to use it again to go to plus four he starts to use outrage on us which is doing quite a bit of damage but not too much because we do have 100 base defense which is very high we're going to use star stance again we're going to finish it off on max attack why not so we are now on a plus six attack he uses outrage yet again and now we're going to use surgeon strikes this should finish him off there's the first attack there's the second attack so it won't finish him off but it's going to destroy the shield easy and just one more attack and he's gone and as you can see we got 200 health back which is amazing the shield breaks does he have a trigger move he nullifies again already wow that loves his nullifications so it uses outrage again doing about 100 damage are the ai gonna finish it no they are not so we're gonna have to finish it with a surging strikes so there we go there's one hit we need one more hit i can see a little bit of red there there's a second hit and the maba stiff goes down and we was never in any trouble because we had such high physical defense and physical attack we didn't even need to use drain punch to get a lot of health back now let's move on to that second raid before we get into the second raid if you do enjoy these videos make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell really do appreciate it smash the like button if you're enjoying it so far and if you want to join the discord link will be in the description i'd love to speak to you guys over there and i can help you out even more so the second raid is going to be a six star fire type always forget this thing's name the evolved form of fletchinder let's begin it's called talon flame always forgetting this thing's name you think i would have learned it by now because i use it for breeding so this is gonna hurt he uses brave bird it does half of our health in damage we're gonna use iron defense straight away gonna use brave bird again it won't do as much this time oh it will oh it's a critical hit that's why good job we decided to use drain punch to get some of that health back he's gonna use sunny day which is really not good for us because it weakens our attack he uses flamethrower it's like a flamethrower is gonna do more damage now don't burn us we're gonna use sword dance he uses flamethrower again we use sword dance again and we are on plus four attack but we are also on 10 health and now we're gonna heal up and get a full health heal Please, I beg. No. He uses flamethrower again. How much damage is this going to do? A lot. I'm stuck in a loop here unless I can heal up a lot. Like at least half my health. That's a bit more of a heal. You steal some of our terror charge. That's not good. Please don't put your shield up because I need to get off a drain punch here. He uses flamethrower. We should survive on around 20 for health here. We're on 70. So some of these attacks do loads and then some just do barely any. It's confusing. But we use Drain Punch to do a bit of damage after our Swords Dance and we get nearly all of our health back. That's all we needed, just one attack. And we get even more health back with the Shell Bell. He nullifies on our side. So he's going to use Brave Bird here. We need to hit him with an Iron Defense. He uses Brave Bird again. Doesn't do that much damage this time. We use Swords Dance to go plus two. He uses, he's going to use Brave Bird again. Maybe Flamethrower was only his best move because of the actual Sunny Day. And now it's gone, he's got to use a, a brave bird we use drain punch it doesn't do too much damage we get a tiny bit of health back he's gonna use brave bird yet again it's not gonna kill us we're on 36 health we get a tiny bit of health back now i'm betting on him using the brave bird again and it doesn't kill us because we're gonna turn into a water type so i'm gonna risk terrestrializing here we are on plus two attack he says brave bird please survive on like 10 health so we're on 32 health i was right now we're gonna use surgeon strikes to break that shield there's one hit there's two hit 
And there's the third hit, and now we are guaranteed to attack first when the shield breaks. And we go back to 165 health because of our shell bell. There's the shield breaking. As you can see, this Urshifu is incredible in raids. Like we are weak to Talonflame. Brave Bird is a very strong move. Talonflame is a very strong Pokemon, and somehow we still did it. So we're going to use Surgeon Strikes again. The free hit, so it should be enough to take it out. Now, I could have easily just uh, reset the raid and gone to one that was like a bit easier, but I wanted to show you just how good it was, even when you've got a disadvantage. And we finish him off with the strikes. And the talon flame goes down now let's move on to that special attacker so the special attacker is going to be none other than the animal himself the king of the sea it's going to be kai ogre so he's just a plain water type he's going to have the water type terror he's going to have the shell bell to recover that health same as urshifu 12.5 percent of the damage we deal comes back to us as health now this is a very fun build evs into special attack and hp max ivs on everything except physical attack ability is going to be a drizzle now what this does when we enter the battle it will start to rain for five turns if we get taken out and then we come back it will rain for five turns and this is going to power our water moves up so much because in rain water type moves are increased by 50 percent damage oh yeah if you're on the shell bell just come to lovincia north and you want to visit the actual adeli bro shop here you get the shell bell for 20,000. Anyway, continuing on with the actual move set, we have Surf, Calm Mind, Aqua Ring, and Water Spout. Now, these three main moves here is going to be Surf, Calm Mind, and Water Spout. Surf is going to be our main attacking move majority of the time. Now, this is a very strong move, 90 power, 100 accuracy. If you want to count the rain boost, 135 power. And uh, Kyogre has 150 base special attack, amazing stats all around. So this is going to do a ton of damage, especially when we power up with Calm Mind that increases our special attack and special defense by one stat each. So against physical, I mean special attackers, we are absolutely unbeatable. Now, Water Spout is going to be a very interesting move. 150 power, 100 accuracy absolutely mind-blowing power with the 50 percent rain boost it goes to 225 percent power 225 power sorry which is absolutely crazy especially if we're terrestrialized but with this move the higher our hp the more damage it does so we, if we're on full health it'll do the most damage and that's why we're holding the shell bell and that's why we've got calm mind and surf so the idea is calm mind up use surf to get our health back with that shell bell and every time we're on max health if we're faster than our opponent we will be using water spout to deal a ridiculous amount of damage now the fourth move i have put aqua ring in there just to help us stay on higher hp so we can use water spout more but there are multiple options here you don't have to go with aqua ring you could even go with a move like thunder for example because thunder can't miss in the rain it'll be a fun move to use very powerful there's a lot of moves you could use here you could use origin pulse you could use ice beam you could use terror blast blizzard but I found that this is going to be the way I'm going to go. You can use any move you want here. As long as you have the other three, then you're good. Now, let's get into two raids to show you how good this Kyogre is. Out of the two Pokemon, Urshifu and Kyogre, I think Urshifu looks cooler. And he's got a nice, cool move, Surgeon Strikes. Nice signature move. I absolutely love signature moves. But I'd say Kyogre is just that little bit better, even though it has Calm Mind. So unlike Urshifu, it doesn't raise its stats by two every time. But it's still going to be really cool because it's got higher survivability by a lot and super high damage so it looks like the first raid we will be put against is going to be a six star fire type amaro let's see how it goes so this pokemon is going to have psychic which is probably going to use our raid unless it decides to use armor cannon i don't see why it would but its main damage you move here is going to be psychic and nightshade it can burn us it's got calm mind sunny day might be a little bit annoying but we're gonna start off with a drizzle i don't know how early he uses sunny day i'm gonna use aqua ring turn one just to get health back in case he does burn us with will-o-wisp turn one he does use will-o-wisp turn one but with the aqua ring and logan's Bolivar having grassy terrain we're gonna get that health back quite easily and now we're going to use Calm Mind, increase that special attack and special defense by one stage each. He's going to use Nightshade. Looks like that is going to be the most powerful move for him. Because a Psychic, even though it's a strong move, and Stab, have, I think it's 140 base special defense. So we're absolutely bulky. He uses Calm Mind now. I guess I'll just use another Calm Mind. Who can play this game? But we use a second Calm Mind. That is three moves over with, and the Rain's only got two moves left, so that's not very good. 
Oh, what can you do? I'll tell you what we can do. We can use Surf and do a lot of damage after he uses Nightshade. Looks like he's faster than us because of the ability he has where it lowers his defense and raises his speed by a ton. So it looks like we can't really use Water Spout this raid, unfortunately. I'm joking. We're going to use it anyway. Why not? We're going to be on half health after the Nightshade, but... I just want to use Water Spout. It's such a fun move to use. Look at that animation. Beautiful. Oh, it does a ton of damage, even though we're on half health. I didn't expect it to do that much because we're on half health, but can't underestimate the Water Spout. The shield has gone up. He removes negative effects from himself. I think we're best off using Water Spout here again. He's going to Nightshade us on 289 health. With that Aqua Ring, we are getting health back consistently, so that's nice. We don't do too much damage because we are not terrestrialized yet, but we get enough health back where we're almost at full health again. Never mind, he steals our terror charge. We're going to use Surf this time. He nullifies everything on our side, so that's no good. Then uses Nightshade. But we're going to terrestrialize here and use Calm Mind. He has used Calm Mind once, so he is on plus one special attack. So he will probably use Psychic and get a strong attack away here. I don't think it's anything we need to worry about. He uses Nightshade, so even when he's on plus one special attack, and we've got no Calm Mind, his Nightshade still does more damage. That really says something about our special defense. We actually have three sources of healing here. We have the uh, Bolivar's Grassy Terrain, which is nice. We have our Aqua Ring, and we have the Shell Bell, so I doubt we're going to go down anytime soon. He uses Nightshade again, taking us to 164 health. We're going to use Surf here because we are below health, below half health. And Surf, even with just a one Calm Mind, finishes him off. And we don't even have the rain up. A very strong hit there from Kyogre. And the Amarog goes down. A very simple raid for us. Kyogre is a beast. Let's get into that second raid. At the last raid, we had a Burn Merchant. Now we have a Poison Merchant. It's going to be a six-star Rock-type Dragalga. Let's see how it goes. Now, he does have Toxic. That's the move I'm worried about. I'm not too worried about Water Pulse, Sludge Bomb, or Dragon Pulse. I just hate being poisoned, especially Toxic. He does have Acid Spray and Draco Meteor as his target moves. We're going to start off with the Rain. Arcanine has Intimidate, but he's a special attacker, so that doesn't matter. We're going to use Calm Mind. Hopefully, it just uses like Dragon Pulse or something, because I don't want to deal with that Toxic, or he misses. He hits us with a Toxic. That's one move in the rain. We're going to use Calm Mind again, so that's two moves. Then we have three moves left. One to heal, two to attack, so it should do a lot of damage. Hopefully, we get a Surf off, get back to full health, and then get a Water Spout off. He is a very slow but he does have very high special defense, 123 base special defense for Dragalga. Uh, we're going to heal up here. I'm hoping we heal up. He used an attacking move because he doesn't really predict the heal up. Then we can get a Surf off when he Toxics, and then the Water Spout will do a ton of damage. But is it ever that simple? I guess we'll find out. Uses Sludge Bomb, does it poison us? No. He uses Acid Spray, it targets one random opponent. We don't get hit with it, that's great. 25% chance to hit us, and we avoid it. We're going to use Surf here. As you can see, it's done a ton of damage. Hopefully the shield doesn't go up. I don't see why it would. It's not even at the E on the Dragalga yet. Uses Sludge Bomb, but don't poison us. I thought he would use Toxic then, but it poisons us anyway. We're not badly poisoned though, so I can deal with this. He uses Draco Meteor. Who does this hit? I don't know who that hit. I think it was Arcanine. The shield has gone up so that's no good but we're gonna use water spout anyway because i wanted to use water spout and this little seaweed fish isn't gonna stop me i don't know how much damage we did i didn't see it but we went back to full health so i guess it was not too bad we're gonna use surf here until we get our health back and our terrestrialize so we, we're doing a little bit of damage hopefully he doesn't nullify here because we are on plus two special attack i want it to stay that way and plus two special defense so his sludge bombs his dragon pulses and all that good stuff are not doing that much damage so we're gonna terrestrialize here and use water spout i just love water spout even if it does less damage at certain points in the raid than surf i just love using it the animation is amazing and it'd be cool if because it was the shiny version the water spout was like a the purpley pinky color that we are that'd be cool but i guess it does match the flower we have on our head so one water spout when we're at around half health even though it was a crit it takes out his full shield so a ton of damage there breaks the shield there we go and now we just need one more hit i think to take out this seaweed monster right here unless he nullifies he uses draco meteor again so his special attack gets even worse He's just taking himself out at this point. I want to finish you off with a cheeky water spout. There's the water spout. Does it finish him off? We're on about three quarters of health. 
and it does finish him off. Incredible damage there, as you can see. This Kyogre is a maniac. There's a reason he's the uh, king of the sea, and if anyone thinks he's not king of the sea, you're just haters. I will not be catching no seaweed, and he will not be giving out Mystica. Big sad. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. These two Pokemon are incredible. You need to get your hands on these if possible. If not, if not, there's always like alternatives that aren't as good. Say so you can't get the legendary Pokemon because you don't have the games, etc. Then instead of Kyogre, you can get Hisuian Samurott from Pokemon Legends Arceus you can settle with azumarill and instead of urshifu you could always go with the old one which was the vaporeon but kyoga is going to be a massive upgrade now i hope you've enjoyed the video and i'll catch you on the next one